for many aspiring Mars explorers, plasma rockets are dream machines. Spaceships with this technology could one day deliver humans to Mars much faster than existing rockets. Engineers at Ad Astra Rocket Company are getting close to a space-ready prototype of a plasma engine. This electric rocket uses radio frequency generators to heat up a gas until it turns into plasma. Trigger. Here is the engine venting argon plasma in Houston, seen through a window in a vacuum chamber. To generate thrust, the plasma would blast out through a nozzle. For now, the rocket produces a blue glow and little else. The technology is the brainchild of Franklin Chang Diaz, a NASA astronaut born in Costa Rica. Like its inventor, this rocket is coming of age in Houston and in Costa Rica. Franklin Chang Diaz's brother, Ronald Chang Diaz, heads up a team working to protect the insides of the rocket from melting. This device emulates the first stage of the plasma engine that we are developing actually in Houston. We are uh, feeding the system with a lot of power to make the plasma from argon. The rocket will uh, give energy to that gas by this antenna. As the plasma is generated, temperatures inside can reach up to a million Kelvin. So if this plasma that is really hot touches the antenna, the antenna will melt. To keep the plasma from touching the antenna, coils of magnets generate magnetic fields that wrap around the plasma and hold it in place. But extra heat still gets into the system, so the engineers are designing a protective ceramic sleeve to fit into the rocket. They call it a thermal jacket. Here they test how the heat behaves inside the rocket. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno, pulso. The design of the thermal jacket is a work in progress. For Spectrum Online, I'm Sandra Upson.